Britain loves hot hatches, and Ford loves building them. The Focus ST takes on the likes of the Volkswagen GTI and Honda Civic Type R, but will it get the pulse of buyers racing once again? The ST has a flexible 2.5-litre turbocharged engine that punches out 222 brake horsepower and a six-speed gearbox. Initially, it doesn't feel like it has enough sparkle because its pulling power is spread over such a wide rev band, so there's no real performance explosion. But it's certainly quick as well as very drivable. The distinctive fruity tone of the five-cylinder engine is there when you step on the gas, and there are pops and bangs from the exhaust on the overrun. It's fun when you're in the mood, but can become tiresome when you're not. Road noise isn't a problem, despite the girth of the tyres rolling over the road surface, but there's a fair bit of wind noise. The ST's drive is super sharp, thanks to a programme of suspension stiffening and lowering that surprisingly doesn't damage ride comfort. The car changes direction incisively and holds its course at all speeds on all roads, although it's not as agile as the VW Golf GTI. The ST is fitted out with body-enveloping Recaro seats and extra instruments and has a more sporty-looking dash finish. Buyers can have a rear seat shaped to hug two people or a standard bench, but the roominess and versatility that's such an essential part of the standard focus has not been thrown away in the ST. The boot is just as big and the rear seats still fold. Eat your heart out, Volkswagen, Vauxhall and Renault. The ST undercuts your hot hatches on price and matches their insurance rating. The trouble is, it's thirstier and much heavier on emissions than all but the more powerful Astra VXR, so company car drivers will be stung for tax. Today's focus combines good materials with high assembly standards, while the Volvo engine and gearbox have no history of giving trouble, and the focus generally seems to be a reliable car. The Focus ST sounds great, has a flexible engine and fine high-speed handling. It also keeps the practicality of the rest of the Focus range and is keenly priced. But before you throw open your wallet, bear in mind that it's a thirsty car, returning just 20 miles per gallon if you use all the performance. It's not as sharp or as classy as the Golf GTI either.